Previously on Shiny Lock with A Drive. I'm gonna encounter whatever's in the grass. So whatever it is is what it is. The encounter and the fourth shiny we're gonna go for on this playthrough is an Aerodactyl. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what? A Drive, I gotta do my best. Yeah, super team power. Woohoo! All right. Let's see what Team Aqua Admin Shelly has to replace her Poochiana or whatever. Oh my goodness! For a Sode Girl Shelly and Youngster Grunt. She, it's her, and her name's Shelly too. Reuniclus and Voltorb, what the heck? Why does she have a Reuniclus? I'm gonna go for Snatch. I think that steals my held item. I don't have a held item. Swift, that's gonna hit everything. That's fine. Thief is gonna do a lot. Reuniclus is so bulky. I, <gasps> what was that? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why did Timber just attack me? Why did you just low kick me? Timber! I don't understand it, Timber. You better do something productive right now, because I'm gonna I'm gonna attack you, Timber, in a minute. Jeez. Why are you attacking me, Timber? Hidden power. Tell me he's got hidden power flying. No, it's it's HP Dark. My name is Maxi. I lead an organization known as Team Magma. We work in the future of happiness for all mankind. So I think Mount Chimney is where we actually go next, if I'm not mistaken. I thought that's where we get went next. That was amazing. Six months of sub hype. Lugia, don't even worry about it. Thank you for the you know the consideration, but take care of yourself first, you know? Uh, if you could squeeze it in one day, that'd be amazing, but uh, no problem. Yes, yes, shiny Aerodactyl, we got it, Lily, we got it. Shiny Aerodactyl, 709 encounters. Lily siped, I'm hyped. Let's go, Lily, yes, yay. You don't have a cone on, yes, Lily, woohoo. Shiny Aerodactyl hype, yes, Lily, yes, 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 we got it. We got the Shiny Aerodactyl, yes, we got it, Lily. No bites, no bites, yes, 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 yes. Woohoo, let's go, baby. Let's go! Shy Aerodactyl hype! I love it. I love it. All right, no bites though, no bites. My puppy's excited. You should be excited as well. Let's go, man. The persistence has paid off. The persistence has paid off. No bites though. You're biting me and it hurts. No bites. And there goes the water. No, all the bad stuff is happening, Lily. What are you doing? So Correa Reyes just donated $5 as well. I don't know if it's gonna pop up on the screen. It should. I can't do it again. I don't think I can do it again. I think I just gotta catch him at this range. I don't I don't wanna risk it. Alright, I'm gonna throw the ultra ball. Come on, buddy. Stay in the ball. 709 encounters, man. We got it. There it is, baby. We did it. We did it, guys. 709 encounters for the shiny aerodactyl. Lily's hyped. I'm hyped. You guys are hyped. This is an amazing day. Oh my goodness, that took a long time. That took a long time. We got it, guys. Shiny Aerodactyl looking epic as ever. Get some hype for the Shiny Lock, guys. The first ever Alpha Sapphire Shiny Lock, of course, on YouTube, guys. Lily's excited. You can hear her barking over there. She's super duper hyped up. I'm super duper hyped up. You guys should be too. It is very, very epic. Uh, I don't know if my notifications are actually working right now, so it might have might have broken, but. Uh, looks like Pia subscribed as well, so we're gonna get the hype for that here momentarily guys I'm gonna go with the nickname Spyro because I really like that nickname and uh, we're gonna check this bad boy out I think I spelled Spyro right. Yep. All right, so we got Spyro. Let's take a look at our Aerodactyl here guys Let's take a look at this beautiful Aerodactyl. Let's get out of this patch of grass. I'm so sick of this grass Aerodactyl talk to me, baby Let's check it out. Get those nature guesses guys get those nature guesses. I'm gonna say he's going to be a hardy nature hardy nature uh I don't know why the notifications aren't showing up, guys. I'm not sure if things got broken or something, but I'll go through them all here in a, in a moment. It is going to be docile nature, which is not good, but it does have bites, scary face, roar, and agility, and it does look absolutely amazing. So shout out to this Aerodactyl for finally showing up here. Docile nature for, of course, our Pokemon, Alpha Sapphire, Randomizer, Shiny Lock. Absolutely amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna cut the video right now on YouTube of course, and we're gonna jump right into the LP. Definitely show your love on that like button below. Let's make it happen.
Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A-Drive. I bring you guys the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Shiny Lock, the first ever of its kind. Episode 9, we are here, and if you just saw that epic reaction, we got Spyro, the Aerodactyl after 709 encounters. I'm sure I said it a bunch of times in the Shadow Reaction, but show your love on that like button down below for that. And you guys did hit 1,500 likes on back-to-back -back episodes this week. Absolutely blown away, guys. A-Drive Army, you guys are the champs. Seriously, you turn up harder than everyone else. I love you guys. Seriously, I really do. Thank you for the support, guys. You make this dream come true, and it's absolutely amazing. But I want to jump into this episode here, so let's do it, man. I went to the Move Tutor up up, uh, up in Fall Arbor Town, taught this thing Thunder Fang, came down here, bought Aerial Ace for 10,000 bucks, taught this thing Aerial Ace, gave it Rock Tomb from the TMs, and now we have Spyro the Dragon, who is looking pretty dang fine. A little recap here. We got Pinocchio here. Thief, Fake Out, Growth, Nature Power, which does turn into Energy Ball a lot of the time outside of buildings, which is kind of cool. Definitely need that Grass Stab on this thing, though, soon, as soon as possible. We've got Frostbite here, level 28. Bite, Icy Wind, Headbutt, Ice Fang, Rock, and then Black Glasses. Of course, that Headbutt is going to be very, very powerful once it evolves into a Mega Glalie, or just a Glalie in general. And then last but not least, we have Big Ernie here. You see that Muscles, Storm Throw, Rock, Tomb, Rock, Smash, and Focus energy he is focusing so here is our newest member Spyro and I'm very excited we're gonna put Spyro right in the front of the party and like I said I ended up all the way in Mallville now because I did want to go buy the Aerial Ace TM which I did so we're good to go um, I, I'll have to stop at a Pokemon Center at some point to kind of stock up on potions and stuff but I think for now we're gonna roll with what we have I think we have six potions so we'll see how things go and we're gonna head all the way back up north to um, Mount, what is it called? Mount Corne, maybe is what it's called. Uh, the big mountain where Team Magma and Team Aqua are uh, are starting to kind of hang out there, and they they got all sorts of plans. So we need to go up there. We need to save some people, save some lives, stop the shenanigans from happening, and make make things happen of our own. So we're gonna go right up there. We do have a question of the day today, guys. You guys have been killing it on all sorts of fronts with the QOTDs, with everything, guys. So thank you for the support on this series, guys. It makes it so super, super awesome as a content maker to be making videos. I just saw a Pokeball in that corner, and I. I never knew there was a Pokeball over there. Um, it's really cool as a content maker to be making videos and have the audience really turn up on those videos. You know, put a lot of time into, and effort into into these series and stuff like that. Like, just to give you an example, that Aerodactyl took me a, a, probably about um, nine or ten hours to find. So if you look at my game time, I won't save, but you can see my game time is 27 hours and 54 minutes for nine episodes, which are approximately a half hour each. That's about four and a half hours of gameplay that you guys have seen, and I've spent 27 hours to get to this point. So I've been grinding on this playthrough, and I've been putting a lot of time and effort into it, more time and effort into this playthrough than any other that I've done. So let's ride this cable car, man, and uh, let's make it happen. But again, I just wanted to take this this area to, to thank you guys because you guys like have been killing it like I'm just just very thankful seriously you guys have been putting in the work so um, I, you know I'd really try to innovate on my channel and come up with new stuff and you guys you guys make it worth it so thank you um, so our question of the day anyway what is your favorite fossil Pokemon and why obviously we just got Spyro the dragon great nickname by the way and favorite fossil for me I gotta go with Archon man shiny Archon first of all just looks absolutely amazing um, I really, really like Shiny Archon. I, I guess I've, I've grown to like Omastar as well, or Omanite, especially from using it in the UCL. It was really fun the few times I used it. It's a really scary Pokemon for other people. Um, so there's a couple different things like that there that, that you know, some of the fossils that I really like. Obviously, Rampardos and Kranidos, two of my homies, so I definitely dig those. But here we are at the top of... So let me know in the comment section below what you're thinking. I don't think I can even get past these guys yet. They're going to let me... Uh, they're not going to let me. So we're going to get Spyro's action right here off the bat. Because I wanna, I wanna make some things happen here. So here's Maxi. His Poochiena is going against some other Aqua and Poochiena. So you team Aqua cures dare to impede the Great Maxi, huh? So I don't, I don't seem to think. Okay, so here, here we go. Team Aqua, let's do this, man. Randomizer on fire. We of Team Aqua are working hard for everyone's sake. Like if there's more water around, water Pokemon will be happy, and it'll give people more places to swim. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a big swimmer, man. I know how to swim, um, but like my parents have a pool at their house, and like even when I lived uh, with them and stuff, I never really used the pool. Like I probably would go in the pool like twice a year. Like I just never did it. I don't know. It's one of those things where like you gotta like shower and stuff after you take a. Sh it's weird, dude. I don't know. But anyway, here we are against this little low tad. Luckily, I did teach us aerial ace to be able to hit this thing super effective. I gotta turn the animations back on. My bad. I always forget to do that. Um, don't mind me as I as I butcher that. Here comes Timber. Um, and by the way, a lot of you guys gave up, gave us some suggestions on to why the timber attacked me on the last episode. It's got rock throw. Ooh, Spyro, I'm glad you ate that, dude. Um, 
as to why the timber attacked me and i think it just has to do with the randomizer uh the move sets are, are randomized so these pokemon well the move sets aren't randomized but the pokemon are randomized so the the ai is saying hey you need to attack something is super effective if you can so it, it kind of factors that in but let's soda pop this guy here and your homie needs to get the animations back turned on because i always forget to do that so my bad but yeah, man. I don't know. I'm not. I've never been that big into the whole swimming thing, but I like swimming once in a while. It's just, just not too often. I, I guess I'd rather even. I'd rather swim in like the ocean or whatever. Secret little TM down here for incinerate. I doubt any of our Pokemon can learn it, but still pretty cool. And I think we just straight up just, just take, take this, take this guy on right here. I think we just make it happen. Um, is that what happens? We just jump right into Shelly. That was like one trainer and then Shelly. What are you doing here? Did you follow us all the way here from Meteor Falls? Ha! Well, hey, good job, kid. Okay, I admit it, you are quite the trainer, and to Archie, me, and all of Team Aqua, your existence is annoying! The world Archie dreams of would be a utopia for Pokemon. I can't let you get in the way of someone who's pushing on towards a perfect world. Prepare yourself. This will finally be the time that I leave that cute face of yours swollen and crying. Ah, so Shelly is gonna throw it down. It is gonna happen. She is a fairy tale girl, Shelly, and she's got a Hone Edge. I hate Hone Edge, man. How do I even beat Hone Edge? Let me think about this for a second. Do I have anything that beats Hone Edge? I don't know if I do, guys. I don't have fire. It's level 24, too. Oh, my God. So, I have Bite, which does hit as super effective. However, if he goes for a move like, uh, what is he? He might, does he have, he doesn't have like Iron Head, Gyro Ball. If he does anything like that, we're going to, like, get absolutely destroyed. I have to go for Bite here because looking at my team, Frostbite can hit him super effective with Bite. That's it. Ernie can't really touch him except for Rock Throw. And Pinocchio might have Earth Power, actually. You know what? Let's do that. Let's make a bold switch into Pinocchio here, and this is kind of risky because Pinocchio is the like only has two lives left. But I'm thinking if it turns into Earth Power with Nature Power, we might actually be able to hit this thing super effective and do some damage to him. He's gonna go for the Autonomize, so I kind of wish I went for Bite, but that's okay. I cannot fake out. Oh, I have Thief too. I forgot about Thief. So I can just Thief him, and it's super effective. So I guess that's our play. He's got Aerial Ace on his Hone Edge. Why? Oh my God, Pinocchio, you ate that though. We did half damage. Okay. I need to switch into Spyro predicting the Aerial Ace. This thing is scary, man. He doesn't have Pursuit. And he's faster than us because of Atomize. All right, Spyro. I know you're kind of a low level, buddy, but you need to eat this. Aerial Ace. Good. You're going to eat that. And now I need you to be able to take a Steel-type move as well because otherwise we're going to get bodied. I'm actually still faster even after the Atomize. We might get a flinch here. I need the flinch. We got it. Oh, dude, Spyro already coming through. Spyro the Dragon, that might have just saved us a life, guys. If this thing had any sort of steel moves, we probably would have lost a life on Spyro or something. Um, so that was huge because that thing outsped our entire team. And now there's a Blitzel. So I do believe I can beat Blitzel um, pretty easily. I think Ernie can probably just destroy Blitzel without a problem. And that is going to be our play. We're not going to take any chances here because uh, he's going to go for like a Shockwave or something and that would have killed me. So at least I can Storm Throw him here. He's going for the Thunder Wave. All right, that's fine. I wish we were Guts. Um, that would have been amazing, but it's okay. Ernie is going to be able to put in some work here with uh, with Storm Throw. It's not worth going for Rock Tomb, so I might as well just Storm Throw. I'm actually faster, but it's probably because he went for Roar. That's just going to straight up knock him out. We get the crit, obviously. It always crits, but Blitzel is a very weak Pokemon from a defensive standpoint. Same with Zeb Strike Us, so we're going to be able to beat Fairy Tail Lady Shelly. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Uh, are you telling me that you've upped your games even more since last time? You're a brat with a bright future. My Pokemon and I don't have any strength left to fight. Go on and be destroyed by Archie. Oh my god, I'm so worried. Do I have a Paralysis heal? I have a full heal. Alright. Well, let's use that. Let's use the little bit of potions we have. You can see, guys, I really don't have that many potions. Um, I haven't... I like... Oh, I had a Paralyzed heal, too. I don't want to be that guy who just, like, stocks up on potions and, like, cheats with it, but... Um, okay, so let's let's think about this for a second here. I am going to what other items do I have? I don't have any ground type moves. Although I guess soft sand isn't terrible. Silk scarf, I should give silk scarf to to Pinocchio. Um I'm gonna give do I have any other items? Just the soft sand. Nothing really benefits from that. Yeah, I don't really have anything that anything's gonna benefit from. Any TMs here that might be worth teaching. I mean double team is kinda cool. I may teach double team. At some point to snow run because it actually is a level up move. I think everything else is gonna be fine. There's not I could teach Steel Wing to to um, Spyro. 
But then I have to give up a move, and I don't think I want to. I like his move set already. So I think we're good. I think we're good. So let's jump into this, man. I'm actually going to lead with Spyro as well. Trying to give him some experience here. Kind of putting him in the line of fire right after we got him. He is the lowest level Pokemon on our team, and I do want to level him up. So he's going he's gonna to get some exposure here. And I think... I think from a level perspective, we're right where we should be, so. The great swell of power that sleeps deep in the magma, and it's key to control the super ancient Pokemon's power. Hmm. Ah, you, uh, no. Oh, now I know how I know you. You're the little scamp that got in our way at Slateport's museum. If you made it here, you must have swept right past Shelly, huh? <laughs> I figured you were the big deal the first time I laid my eyes on you, but whoa. <laughs> Since you are the real deal, I suppose I could let you in on what's going on. See this meteorite that I just got uh, from a good old Professor High and Muddy back there? With a right bit of work, it seems we could turn it into a real nice valuable bit, like maybe a Megastone. Or maybe even a Keystone. And as long as we're here at Mount Chimney, <laughs> I'm just laughing. Look what I nearly did. If I give away all my secrets, all the thrill would be gone from our relationship. I think I'll just leave you hanging here. Well, it's not the details that matter any old how. We've got a thing you got, we got going, you see. From our point of view, Scamp, you're a dirty villain who's gotten in our way one too many. I'm still the leader of Team Aqua, so I'm afraid it's the rope's end for you and your Pokemon. Now come. Uh-oh. This guy's coming at us with a vengeance, so he actually is looking at us as being the villain, whereas we're looking at him as being the villain. So maybe we're the bad guy here. Maybe his, uh, his goal is actually good, but we'll see what he's got. He's got a Masquerade in here. Which I'm not too worried about to kick things off because I do trust in my ability to live one move that's water type if he has bubble beam. It's not stab. And even after intimidate, I can hit him with a big rock tomb and that should knock him out, I would guess. So I'm going to take the risk here. It is four times super effective. So we're going to go for it. It's stab. It's rock tomb. This should knock him out. It doesn't even come close. He's going to go for the bubble beam. We're going to have to live this. He's going to go for the scary face. All right. Now the question is, does Aerodactyl outspeed Masquerain if I'm minus two speed and he is minus one speed? I'm gonna go for it. We do outspeed even though we're four, five levels below. Masquerain, fun fact, is actually used to be my favorite Pokemon, just in general. Uh, then I kind of fell in love with Motham, but used to be my favorite Pokemon, so. Yo, we have a blistering 60 speed set. Here comes Sawsbuck again, and it's the winter one. And as much as I think that Spyro is great against this thing, we are going to get bodied unless I switch the heck out of here. So I'm going to go into Pinocchio thinking he's going to go. Is this going to happen again? I don't think he's going to go for takedown against us. I think he's going to go for a grass move. I'm going to go to Pinocchio again, man. I don't know, dude. <laughs> These Sawsbucks keep coming through. This is the second one. This is the winter one, which looks amazing, by the way. Best Sawsbuck form is definitely the winter one. Um... He goes for jump. No, Pinocchio, dude. No, no. What was I going to do there? What was I going to do there? There was nothing. There was nothing I was going to do there. Oh, my God, dude. Pinocchio is down to one life. I have to go into Ernie. I, I couldn't switch into Ernie and take two hits. I have to go into Ernie and just go for Storm Throw. Oh, my God, Pinocchio. I'm so sorry, dude. I was thinking he was going to go for a grass move. I didn't know he would have, he would have jump kick at that point. He's got takedown. I skillfully dodged a takedown. That was a savior right there. Oh, we're gonna kill this thing. I couldn't have gone into I couldn't have gone into Ernie. Because Ernie, I don't think Ernie was taking a jump kick and a takedown. That would have been too much. Superior! What? Okay. I'm gonna go over the rock tomb. I need to slow this thing down. He's got leaf tornado. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna I gotta slow this thing down because I need Spyro to be able to come in and beat it. In case something goes wrong. Oh my, it's level 27, dude. Alright, focus energy. We're going to get rid of that at some point, too. I'm going to go for Storm Throw here. He's got Leech Seed. Oh, poor Pinocchio, man. I got to be really careful with Pinocchio now, guys. I really do. I think we're going to be able to beat this thing, but I'm debating on whether I should go into Spyro here. Because I don't want to risk... He's going to just keep getting Leech Seed recovery. How much is a Leaf Tornado going to do to me? I gotta go for one more rock tomb. I just wanna make sure he's really slow. He's gonna leave Tornado again. I should be able to live it. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. I can live it and the lead seed won't kill me. I can go into Aerodactyl and I could probably knock this thing out with an Aerial Ace at this point. A little risky though. Is that the play? Or do I go into Frostbite? I think Spyro hits harder. I think the play is to go into Spyro here. Oh man. Frostbite. 
Let me look. Let me look at stats here. Frostbite's got 39 spadef. And it would be a neutral hit. Spyro's got 42 spadef, and it's a neutral hit. Because of flying type. And I'm faster, and I have a higher attack stat. We're gonna go to Spyro. And just hope that he doesn't kill us with this Leaf Tornado. Uh, it's gonna, like, Superior doesn't have the greatest special attack stat, but it's still gonna do a lot. Okay, okay. Now, does Aerial Ace do enough from this range? He's six levels higher than me, and this thing is bulky as heck, guys. I don't want to lose a life on Spyro too, but I gotta do it because Frostbite's gonna end up in the same situation. It's too frail. I'm gonna go for the Aerial Ace. Growth! <gasps> thank you! Thank you, RNG Jesus! You saved a life. I think we would have lost a life on Spyro there if if he went for an attacking move. We're gonna get so much experience though. We're gonna grow like two levels from that. Jeez, man. I feel so bad for Pinocchio. I feel like I failed Pinocchio, guys. That was, we got a lot of experience though. Oh, we're gonna beat Archie, man. He's got, he had Superior, Saw's Buck. <sighs> that was a tough matchup, guys. That was tough. And we lost a life on Pinocchio too. <laughs> you little scamp, I knew you were the real deal. Brilliant, then my team won't hold back against you this time. Mega Evolution, I missed you. Does he battle me again? Oh, no, he doesn't. He, he's about to battle us with Mega Evolution, but obviously that wouldn't work. Um, anyway, because it doesn't have a Pokemon that Mega Evolves. So I don't know how that works with a randomizer, but we're going to find out. Oh, my God. That was so scary, guys. I can't. I... <sighs> Pinocchio lost another life. We're going to get the Meteor right now. And I just have to play really careful with Pinocchio right now. I really do. Which stinks, too, because I really liked using him, but he went for Jump Kick. Uh, there was nothing I could do there, man. I didn't know he would have it or not. I was going for, I was predicting, like, the, the grass move. I've seen you before, child. Now, let's do our maxi. Huh? I've seen you before, child. It seems like you are not to be trifled with if you repelled Archie in battle. What is up to that? What is that fool up to now? <laughs> he abandoned the meteorite, though. He saw it persistently. No. Could it possibly be that he's confirmed the existence of the orbs at last? Nah. Again, I find myself outmaneuvered. What a terrible miscalculation. Ah! All right. So Max is going to get the heck out of here. And we are going to need to get the heck out of here as well. Jeez, man. That was... Not good, guys. Not good. Um... So Pinocchio is now down to just the uh, just the, the the one life now. So this is it. If Pinocchio faints again, man, Pinocchio's done skis. I had a feeling there'd be an item up here. There's a protein, so we could sell that for like 4,500 bucks, man. I dig it. So all right, man. Well, we're gonna actually go heal up. I think there's a little girl, a little lady, an old lady who might heal us up down here. And then what I'm gonna do is on the next episode, we're actually gonna jump to the Jagged Pass, which is the the route south here. We're gonna go through the Jagged Pass. We're gonna take on the gym leader, Flannery. And uh, and that'll be that, man. We have a lot to do. And then we're gonna find out what our next hunt is gonna be. Because after Flannery, we'll have... Um, oh, I guess I don't have to go that way. So so she just heals us up. That's fine. So she doesn't want us to go that way. They want us to go to Jagged, Jagged Pass, which we will do. So... Like I said, to recap, on the next episode, it's going to be action-packed, guys. We're going to go take on Flannery on the next episode. We are going to um, get through the Jagged Pass Flannery, and then we're going to go uh, basically find out what our next shiny is going to be, I believe. That's the plan. Um, because, just to clarify, because there's a, a weird spot between the fourth and fifth gym, because the fifth gym is actually your father, and you have to backtrack, I decided that the fifth shiny we're going to go for is going to be in the desert. It's going to be randomized in the desert. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do horde hunting for this next shiny. So it's not going to be necessarily Nuzlocke rules in terms of what we actually go for. Rather, we are going to deal with the random number generator and whatever shows up in the horde hunting randomization is going to be what we're going to find. So you're not going to know what we're searching for necessarily. But again, I will be doing the shiny hunting on my Twitch live stream. Uh, I guess that would be on Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday to ensure that we get that shiny for Thursday's episode next week. 
But that is going to be that, guys. We uh, we made it through another episode here. This was a tough one, and uh, we lost another life on Pinocchio, but we'll, we'll make it work. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend ahead. Thank you for watching and hopefully enjoying. Don't forget our question of the day, and definitely show your love on the like button down below as it helps out a ton. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drive, and I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.